I did not think I would ever be making this video, but I guess I might just as, as well cut right to the chase. I have received an offer for a job in esports. It is the offer of an absolute lifetime. I can't give you guys too many details in the video, but I thought just a quick update. There will be no other videos today, maybe tomorrow. Um, kind of trying to take some time to maybe finalize this as well. But I have been offered the, the job of a lifetime, the job I've been dreaming about for three or four years now inside of esports, producing esports content and possibly going to esports events and more. And I am sitting here and I can't even look at the camera because I would probably cry like a, like a loser. But I cannot thank you all enough through the trials and tribulations. I'm not even sure if that's the right right word of that saying. But through all the ups and downs of this channel, it's been an absolute roller coaster. You guys know when I first started, I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, when I caught some ground and finally started gaining some viewership and um, just a great community out there, I had a, a really rough patch where I did some things where I, I, I deeply regret. And eventually everyone moved on from that. Uh, I myself trying to as well. And, and thank you guys for all of you who have stuck around through those hard times. And as of recently, I've been producing more content than I ever have in my life. I am currently, or I was, jobless throughout the summer, and as I watched around me, all of my friends going off and coming back home and, and saying they had jobs here, they were working for this real estate agency, they were working for this financial firm, and, and it, everything was boiling over to the, to the point where I thought, are they, are they thinking about me? Are they wondering what Jake is doing? Because, you know, of course, the first question all these parents ask you when you, when you come back home after graduating college is, hey, what are you doing this summer? Hey, have you found a job yet? That's the first question every time. And now for so long, I've been saying, oh, I've been I've been doing things, you know, I, I got some interviews going and, and it, I would lie because I, I would pretend that things were going well when they at certain times they weren't and I every every night I would come back here and wonder if, if this is actually meant to be because all my life and I mean this and you guys can probably hopefully relate to this I've had the most amazing family and parents throughout this whole experience But at the same time I've always been searching to impress them to try and prove to them that this could be a viable future for me and this just might be the turning point in, in that whole thing. You know, when I first started making YouTube videos, my parents, they still have no idea what it really is all about. Of course, they've watched my videos, they know somewhat about it, but they never really knew. Uh, you know, I, I was live streaming videos and making videos for kids ranging from ages 8 to 23. I have viewers that are 56 years old, and they really had no idea what esports were, what video games were, and how someone could actually make an income doing that. And the entire time I knew when I was job searching, I knew from the very point where I started job searching for esports jobs and nothing in the financial field or the business field that I was actually going to college for, I knew that I had to fully try and go for this. But at the same time when I was doing that, I was also fibbing to my parents. I was telling them I was applying here and there to your standard places where people graduate college nowadays and they go after the places they interned with or the places inside their major and I was fibbing to them. I was saying, yeah, I've had an interview here and there, but really all the time I was looking for esports jobs and no one was responding. And that entire time inside my head I was thinking, if I can't do this, I am a failure. And lo and behold, over the course of the past two to three weeks, I have been applying to just about everything and I know you a lot of you guys are younger viewers when you finally graduate college or university or even high school wherever you're going to uh, end your education at you're gonna realize that not every place is going to want you I probably applied to 40 to 50 esports organizations gaming companies computer companies and oftentimes it was tough enough just to get a response from them and I was even lucky enough about two weeks ago two weeks prior to receiving this offer for an esports job I received an offer with an esports organization who was starting from the ground up it just was gonna be a huge risk and I had to actually turn it down and I at first when they said they were going to offer me you get that excitement you feel like oh my gosh I've done something and then you receive the actual offer logistics of what you'll be doing for how little money it might be because it's still a new industry and it's it's gonna be hard to find a feasible income in the first place it's gonna be hard work here is just the start it's the this is the easy part getting the job now is where the, the fun and the hard work really begins but I had to turn that down and that was heartbreaking because when you when you read these descriptions you talk to these people you realize this is what you want to do and then when that kind of offer comes out there you realize it's not going to be doable it, it is honestly heartbreaking so I wait two to three more weeks and I'm, I'm talking between several companies and I'm not here to brag about I, I was lucky enough to have a few offers out there or a few options out there but for this one to come down to it it was just I sat there for so many weeks, you know, emailing back and forth, wondering if they were going to offer me if, if I was actually good enough. Because you go through the entire process and you're thinking there's got to be other applicants out there that are even more, you know, experienced than I am, even more worthy than I am for this job. But when the offer actually came through, I, 
I, I can't even explain the experience because I know for a fact that now I have taken this offer. I can't give you guys any, any full details right now, but trust me, it'll come soon in a video. If and most likely when I work for this company and accept this job, I will be moving a far, far ways away from my hometown. And I cannot stress enough to all of you to experience life to the fullest because I am certainly naive in that sense. I've always been close to home because I love my family to death and I can never live without them. But this is going to be the start of a future. And I just want to thank you all for being with me because this is going to be a long road together. Um, and I cannot wait to interact with all of you guys, possibly meet some of you in the future of this eSports channel, this CSGO channel for now. But who knows what's going to come in the future. Because I've always been a Midwest boy. I've never been one to be open about my location. If you guys are members of my Discord or you know watch my streams for a long time, you know that I'm, I don't really like to disclose my information, right? I'm from Iowa. I've been a small farm town, the typical, if you guys are from the US or America, you know that Iowa is the corn state. They're known for having the most boring state of all time, but I love my state to death. I've never permanently lived outside of Iowa. And now I will be moving to Las Vegas over 1200 miles away and I'll be living on my own uh, exploring the esports realm. I cannot be more excited but I also cannot be more nervous to announce this and once again I cannot thank you all enough for coming along for me so far for this journey but I cannot stress enough this journey is just beginning. I have made a lot of great connections over the years and I can't wait to put those to good use and I cannot wait to produce esports content in the future and this channel will continue. Um, I know a lot of you guys are CSGO fans. CSGO news will always be a thing. I will always continue uploading content for this based off CSGO news and wherever CSGO goes in the future, I will follow that game as well. I'm lucky enough to be a part of this job. Um, if accepted, I will have free time, I think, uh, at least to work on my own projects, that being this channel. I'm, I'm so nervous, but I cannot be any happier. So I hope you guys all enjoy. I will see you sometime very soon in the future. And uh, it's happened. So for all of you guys out there who are wanting to pursue esports yourself, and I'm sure a good handful of you are, just do it. Uh, I went to college. I went you know, through high school education as well. Uh, eight years of not really learning anything about esports besides playing video games on the side. I would say a lot of the, a bulk majority of what I learned in the esports industry was outside of school. So I, you can only imagine how good you guys could be in the esports industry if you actually went to college for that. And now with the way education is going, more people, more pro players, more uh, entrepreneurs in general going to college around the esports industry, I can't wait to see its future. And I cannot thank video games enough for getting me to where I am. So I'll see you guys soon. And uh, sometime soon, I will no longer be an Iowa boy. I'll be a Las Vegas boy. And uh, yeah, I will uh, talk to you guys later.